everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Rebecca and today I am excited to be bringing you along with me to tackle something that's been a new year's goal or resolution of mine which is to create a more organized home and workspace just to create a little bit more balance in my life I have honestly been working out of my dining room table or the living room couch which nothing wrong with that I love doing that but I also find myself getting really distracted sitting on the couch and my mind will start thinking about like the toys that need to be picked up or I'm sitting at the dining room table and I just start thinking about whether or not we've emptied the dishwasher and things like that so just creating like a separate workspace to go to and focus when I'm actually trying to get work done is a going to be just a game changer. I hope that this video will inspire you, that you enjoy it, and it will give you some good ideas. So this is what the space was looking like. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed to show you guys this. This was actually a bar that the previous owners left in the house, and we have just never used it other than to be a catch-all and a storage space for everything that just didn't have a home. One of my goals this year was just to get more organized and not only clean up this area, but I really wanted to create a designated space to work in so that I can stay focused. Just having like a little corner to go to to get things done helps me get my mind to stay on task so much more. So I am really excited to create this little workspace today. Now I already went ahead and cleaned this out little by little, finding homes for everything and just getting everything put in a good spot. So for my first Dollar Tree DIY desk organizer, which I am obsessed with how cute this one turned out. You need two of these baskets and also one of these drawer organizers. I'm taking one of the baskets and cutting one of the smaller sides out like this, cutting one piece at a time, very close to the line, so no little plastic pieces are sticking out. So take your time with this, make it nice and neat. Basically cut off the smaller end of one of the baskets. So it looks like this. And then I spray painted both baskets, completely with my gold spray paint. I will make sure that I link everything I used for you down below in the description box. This part is optional, but I made a really cute little wooden handle using these wood cubes from Dollar Tree's newer craft section. I used wood glue to attach a full row of blocks together, and when it was dry, I used one more block under each end to elevate it, and then I just spray painted the entire piece gold to match the baskets. But definitely let everyone know if you have any other suggestions for what to make a handle out of or where you can get an inexpensive handle that you would like for this DIY. I used hot glue to attach my handle to the drawer organizer and stacked my baskets so that the cutout one is kind of like upside down and it provides a riser for the other basket and now I can easily slide the organizer tray underneath. I think this looks so cute. I need your help though deciding should I leave the tray white and brown right or should I paint it gold to just match and be more cohesive with this whole unit? What would you do? Anyway, I'm obsessed with the concept of this. I think it's so cute and I love how it fits on my desk. While we're painting things gold, obviously that is the color I'm going with here. I also found these pencil holders. I love the design on them and I was just so excited because I think they will look so high end painted gold. You can also easily remove the little black Black foam piece down in the bottom so you can spray paint them and then pop it back in once they're dry. Really cute, even though I literally went to three Dollar Tree stores to find these, I'm so glad I did. I also took a wire cooling rack from the baking section and painted that gold as well, along with some mini clothespins so I can use this for clipping up little reminders and notes and just things I need to get done. Another idea is to take one of the Dollar Tree clipboards, or you can do a whole bunch of them and make a wall of these. And I just taped mine off with painter's tape and some paper to completely cover it. Other than the little metal clip part, I did even take off the little black rubber pieces, which you can go back and add at the end if you want. And I took my gold spray paint, spray painted the middle part gold, and when it was dry, just peeled off the paper and tape. I'm actually mounting this on the side of the desk using my nano tape, which I will have linked for you down below as well. 
I found these pencils in Dollar Tree that I thought would coordinate so well with my mauves and golds and pinks. I love the pink leopard in here. It's got that same gold color. Some of the things that I decided to move back here to this desk space are things like my chalk marker, my black Sharpie paint pens, because I don't want the kids using these, also my X-Acto knife, and my um, gold leafing pen. This is just stuff that when they are coloring or doing their own little crafts and projects, I don't want them using these items. Now, another quick DIY for your desk or office space is taking a Dollar Tree frame. I should have used a gold one for this, but I was repurposing this one from another DIY. So I decided to actually try painting the frame with white chalk paint and the glass part I had already hot glued into place from the last DIY, but I wanted to take my Sharpie paint pen and write the word notes on here. And then I just hot glued on one of these little clips onto the glass as well. You know, if I had written notes in white chalk, it would have actually shown up better to use this on my dark wood desk, but instead it's not really showing up. So I decided to move this to my window and it blends in a lot nicer with the white window frame. And this is giving me an extra place to just hang up important reminders, really clear and easy to see here next to my desk. Mike also put these push lights from Dollar Tree under here so that I have a little better lighting under this little counter spot as well. So these are the tea lights that I have shown you guys before. I just feel like the flame is so realistic looking. It has a realistic flicker and I they have just an on off switch but when you turn them on they will stay on for five hours and then they will go off and they will go on again next day same time and be on for five hours. So I absolutely love the timer feature of them. So I am going to be switching out all of my tea lights like this and switching over to these. I also picked up this value assorted brush set in Hobby Lobby. It was $5.99. Of course, if you wanted to, you could use a 40% off coupon on that. The back of this package also gives ideas for which type of brush and for what it's good for. I am also going to save a screenshot of this as well, just for myself to reference. Also, let me know your favorite DIY from today, and I wanna know what your favorite organization item is in your own desk or office space, and then hopefully we can all learn and share ideas here in the comment section. I love you guys, I wish you a beautiful, blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I have tons of DIYs coming your way this year, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye! Bye.